Throughout? No doubt. Monique versus Steve. Monique versus Steve Harvey. Harvey. And we're a little oh late with this. We are late. We are late. But we so clever. Yeah, but we had to came <laughs> with the footy so fast. Yeah, yeah. man. But we had to. We're so we, professional. Great pick. Yeah, but so we, had to, we had to. Um, we had to say something about this. I guess you pick a side. Which side are you on? Well, I, Monique or Steve? Well, I, well I, I don't think you have to pick a side. Yeah, I, I, was, I don't have a side. I, I mean, I see both points. I see yeah. both points. Right. Monique made good points. Steve made good points. I just think Monique got it. Monique got it. She got to eat. She got to eat her integrity. Like, it, like if, if she want to stand on something, she want to she want to have her integrity. She got to stand on it. That's right. Don't don't sit around and cry about it. That's yeah, right. you know what come with it. Yeah, and mm-hmm. and you know, and far as Steve go, Steve said you got to put your integrity to the side sometime. I don't. Me myself. I don't agree with that. You know what I'm saying? Me. But I do. I don't agree with that. I but agree with it to a certain extent. Well, well, this, no, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. If you if, if you got to if you got to do something that you totally against to get paid, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know, don't that's do it. yeah, yeah, don't do it. I mean, you somewhat of a sellout. Yeah, but you know the, what I'm saying? But see, when you talking about in the realm of being a fucking actress or actor and your next job's net you a million dollars and you can fucking live on that shit for a long time. That's different. So what about integrity when I just work a nine to five and I got two kids at home? Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all niggas talking in the realm of fucking stardom and goddamn big ass checks. I'm talking around period. No, period. So you quit your job and you got two kids at home because somebody insulted your integrity. Or, or where does your integrity lie? Mm-hmm. My integrity as a father and taking care of my kids mm-hmm. does not supersede my integrity as an individual right. when a goddamn person insults me, but I still got two kids exactly. to feed. Exactly. Right. That's real shit. Yeah. But if you got a shit of money, then yeah, yeah you got you fuck you money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you got fuck you I money, look, that's I look, different. I look at it like this. It's LeBron James and it's everybody else. Because LeBron, even though LeBron get a check from the NBA, mm-hmm. He came in the league in the beginning saying, I'm going to be a boss. Right. I'm going to be a fucking boss. Yeah. So can't nobody really tell him what to do as far as LeBron, you can't wear that shit. LeBron, mm-hmm. you can't have that tattoo on your arm. Mm-hmm. Like that. You can't cover that tattoo of LeBron. Ain't nobody telling LeBron nothing. Ain't mm-hmm. nobody telling LeBron what he can't do. Right. And he and he's an employee but, to the NBA. But you ain't LeBron. Yeah. But he's an employee. He's still an employee. But he want the motherfuckers to be like, yeah, I, y'all need me more than I need you Everybody y'all. got fuck you money. LeBron yeah. could have got the fucking commissioner fired. Yeah, he really yeah. could have. That's how powerful LeBron yeah. is. Shout out to Michael Jordan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Shout out Jordan to Dr. J. Yeah. Shout out to goddamn Magic, Magic and Bird. Bird. Shout yeah. out to Bird. Yeah. Shout out to them niggas because they put LeBron in a position to do what the fuck he do now. Yeah. That yeah. nigga could get the commissioner fired. But it's like That's right, interesting. But huh? right now. That's interesting right you say now, that. You got, you got I thought the, um, com- I'm sorry. I thought the commissioner worked for the owners. He does work for the owners, but LeBron is the money. LeBron, LeBron is the money. niggas that people come to pay to see. And here's the thing. They tolerate got, a lot from LeBron. You got people, oh, yeah, like, you got people like Kevin Hart and, and Steve Harvey. Like, Kevin Hart said he a boss, but Kevin Hart's not really a boss like LeBron boss. That ain't true. He 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 he, he owns that, some huh? shit, yeah. but he he ain't, like, he got a, he got, it's one person that probably in his team or above him. That guy that can pull the plug anytime. Nah, look, that yes and no. Yeah. But yeah, I, I heard Kevin that. Hart go to war with Sony. Mm-hmm. Kevin Hart went to war with Sony, nigga. I remember Cause that. Cause Sony was like, sure, to Kevin Hart, we want you to get that promote the movie on your Instagram. Yeah, and, and Kevin Hart was like, come that's a different price. Yeah, yeah, come here. And that's check. A, we didn't yeah. negotiate that's that. That's real though. Shit. They yeah. could have could have shut him down there. You know what's funny? If that's you wanted to, that's what he wanted. Money though. Here's the thing. That's what they wanted Monique to do. Right. He Daniels and them. They want her to go somewhere for free. We'll fly out here. That's for true. Free. They did want her to do that. Okay, to but you that. gotta she also was like, no, mm-hmm. cut the check. You gotta also know mm-hmm. when you hey, add on the field. <laughs> <laughs> You're not Kevin Hart right now, you yo. Don't need. You're she not selling need out that. arenas. She won an award, though, She's my not selling out a, um, arenas, she man. Oscar, though, she's not selling Kevin out Hart arenas. De- Kevin Hart in demand, though. That nigga's selling out arenas. She won an Oscar. But she's Monique, I understand. Though. But you're not selling out Mon- arenas. I respect Monique. She a legend. Ain't putting her down. But she not in demand like Kevin Hart she is. Not. She, she she just Hart not. Kevin Hart didn't win Oscar. No, she's no. definitely She don't have to. Don't have to. But he making $100 million yeah. for the a movie studio every movie. With his name. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. You got to keep this in mind. And I don't want to bring it back to the sports a little bit. LeBron... Could do the same shit Kaepernick did, but he got the cachet to do it. Yeah. And we can't get rid of LeBron. Kaepernick is not big enough to pull that shit off the way he wanted to. Yeah. Like LeBron. LeBron yeah, you're not have. throwing LeBron away. You're not LeBron, dude. Yeah. And that and it ain't a bad thing. Yeah, he, LeBron lead the league, the league on. But on even something. speaking on Kaepernick, because it comes to mind when you talk about Monique, 
Kaepernick and motherfucking people Dave, like Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. And I'll tell you another nigga, and that people never think about Floyd Mayweather. Think about it. You 50 and 0. You make $100 million a fucking fight. You ain't got a goddamn Pepsi commercial. You don't need one. That nigga do it yeah. on his own. Yeah. That nigga stood yeah. on integrity. As much as you want to call him a fuck nigga uh-huh. and goddamn cooning and mm-hmm. he ain't for the cause, that nigga made a conscious decision to own myself. Straight up and down. Nigga yeah. ain't got a Pepsi come Super tennis shoe, nothing. Is that any black and And hey, you want to know why? Because I cut you the check, you don't cut me right. the check. Yeah. If that ain't black empowerment, I don't know what it yeah, is. I don't know right. what the fuck is. For and people, right. they want to throw out. That's one good part of thinking. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, you want to throw yeah. out people away because they make he's a still, mistake. He's or still a monkey with money to me, but hey, he a, he a yeah, powerful Yeah, but that monkey. nigga own itself. He a gorilla. Yeah, he be a monkey, be a gorilla, goddammit. Shout out to Red Man. Yeah. Yeah. You goddamn right. Shout yeah. out to Floyd. Yeah. Shout out to Floyd. Don't just throw niggas away because he got good, too. All right, so where's Steve Harvey right now as far as position, as far as black celebrity, black Hollywood? Steve Harley, man. He the man. Because Steve Harley, remember they was talking about. I mean, he's slowly making a comeback. I see where you're going with this. Yeah. Like, come back. Like, no, come back from where? Trump after Towers. The tri- yeah, after yeah, the Trump Towers. Towers. Yeah, after come back from Trump Towers. Oh, I mean, yeah, he's been, been got over but there. You know what's funny? Me. But you know what's funny? I would have never apologized about that, that shit. Me neither. I, I, me neither. I, I, this is my opinion. <laughs> me neither. This is my opinion. I don't want nobody to judge me. Go ahead, yo. But I see why certain rich black people fuck with Trump. Okay. I see why yeah. Trump, black rich people fuck with Trump. Yeah. Cause, cause, cause Trump ain't about black white. He bought money. money. He bought money. Yeah, if you got money, that's all he care yeah, about. Yeah, he gonna fuck. It's interesting. We had a guy that used to come to the barber shop, and that nigga make about a million dollars a year for real. A black dude, seriously. Okay. He make about a million. He like an engineer. He making like a million dollars. And um, when Obama was running, he was gonna vote for the other candidate. Mm. Yeah, I knew, I knew which I knew was an issue. Like but when he got to explaining it, you get to yeah, understand it. When you make a million dollars a year, and Obama tells you if you got more than five employees, you don't have to pay for your, their health care. That shit affect my bottom line. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> that his his economic policy wasn't in line with his lifestyle, exactly. which is a personal got, choice. It's fair. It's fair to him. It's a personal it's choice. Fair to him to be that way. I got eight employees. Yeah. I really, even though I make a million dollars a year, I really can't afford to pay for all of y'all health care. I exactly. got a nigga 63 years old working for me. Exactly. You know what this nigga health care costs? Well, you know what I mean? That's real shit, too. Real talk. That's People real don't shit. look at it in both they sides. They don't look real. at it. No, they pay. Nah. Not, not really. We always, hey, fuck this shit. Yeah. You, you black, you're not supposed to vote, vote for him. You yeah, know what I'm saying? No, right. they pick the shit that agrees with their sensibilities. Yeah. And then that's how you make your decision, but you never listen to the other side of it. You really don't. You threw Floyd away. You threw Steve away. Come on, man. You threw Steve away. Steve Harvey? It's the hottest. Man, my daddy told me, I hate that nigga. That nigga went to goddamn meet Trump. No, you got played, Steve. That's all. That's it. You went to court yeah, without a lawyer. You went to court without well, that's, a lawyer. That's what you did. He got played. He, yeah. he got played. And I went to talk to the man. He the president. Yeah. But I, so Steve, you think Steve is the is the gateway for black other black comedians? Like, can Steve look out? He's he powerful enough to look out for other black comedians and put them in the same position. Yeah, 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 I'm sure he yeah, do. Yeah. You think he ever done that for anybody other than Cedric? And Cedric? I know that nigga got some shit in Texas or something that he do with the kids every fucking oh, yeah, summer. He oh yeah, he, he, he got a camp. camp. Yeah, he got a camp that he take so care of some shit so of black so kids. So Steve, under the radar, is is for the culture. Yeah, I think he yeah. Is. I, I but think Steve understands. He understand. does a lot. I'm not saying he doesn't do a lot for yeah. the community. But Steve understands yeah. how to play the game. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? All Steve's doing is playing the game. That's I'm going to lose the battle, but I'm going to win the war. So yeah. what, what he said to Monique about, you know, you saw how Monique flipped it and, put, and took the nigga from the roots yeah. and made it like that was Steve was saying, mm-hmm. like comparing him to Steve. Right. You, you think that was fair to Steve? I think it was fair coming from Monique, yeah. And it's cool. I don't think, it was, I don't think it's fair in a, I don't think it's fair in a, in a, in a international look, everybody saying that. But for Monique, yeah, I can I, take it. I'm going to ask everybody a question in the room. Mm-hmm. If there was a bidding war to get Spike Punch, the podcast, yeah. on a national network, and our two bidders were Monique mm-hmm. or Steve Harvey, who we rolling with? Steve Harvey. I'm on with Steve. I was okay. going to say, please.